Hi, I'm Dr. Chen Wen Liu from Orthopaedics 360 in Adelaide, South Australia. I'm a hip and knee replacement surgeon and I'm here just to talk a little bit about a commonly and frequently asked question, can I run after a hip or knee replacement? So the short answer with that is generally no. We do not like you to run long distance after a hip or knee replacement. While there haven't been any specific studies to look at the potential of wear patterns after running, and as you can imagine, that can be quite variable over our patient cohort, we feel that the impact of running for most of our patients with hip and knee replacements is going to negatively impact the survivorship or the longevity of that hip or knee replacement. It does bring me to a very important point of running style and ability. When we look at a lot of the very, very good runners that run long distance, and for example, we're looking at those people who are running two hour marathons and look like they're floating on the air, they have a very different foot strike and pattern to their running as most of the population. Over the course of decades, the running shoe manufacturers have actually increased the heel on the back of most running shoes, which lead to most people having a heel strike when they're running. A heel strike, in effect, will stop your body for a brief moment in time, creating quite a large jarring force on the ankles, knees, hips, and the rest of the body. That is why most shoe manufacturers have opted to put large gel pads or cushioning at the heel of the shoe. For very experienced runners, they actually run in running flats, and those flats have very little padding in them but they are often not striking on the heel, but are striking on their midfoot or forefoot. When someone runs by landing on their midfoot or forefoot, they're putting a lot less strain on the body, but it does require training and most likely a coach to get you to that standard. Now, if you haven't already been there before your hip and knee replacement, it is unlikely that you will get to that capability of running after your hip or knee replacement. To this end, we generally let people know that running on the road long distance is not something that we would recommend. However, running on soft materials like running around on the grass with kids to play a bit of soccer, running on the beach to throw a frisbee and to run around on soft sand dunes is perfectly fine. However, running on the road to try to run a marathon for the first time, city to bay for the first time or to start your sprints when you've never done them before is probably something that unfortunately will be off the agenda after a hip or knee replacement. That includes other activities that are high impact in nature such as box jumps, jumping off of uh, platforms or off the back of a ute or something similar to that we avoid. I hope you found that a little bit useful and puts into a little bit of context of why we don't have a full blanket rule for everyone, but also why it's important that you know why you shouldn't run after a hip or knee replacement. Stay tuned for more short videos like this and please follow us on YouTube or Facebook and I look forward to seeing you for the next video soon. Thank you.